what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. In this video we'll cover 10 essential shortcuts for Photoshop. If you're working, you know, editing images or you're painting, uh, digital painting, doesn't matter. These shortcuts will speed up your process and this video is um, geared towards beginners. So if you don't know Photoshop and you want to get started, uh, make sure you know these 10 uh, simple shortcuts. It will speed up your workflow tremendously. Uh, so let's just begin. The easiest one is obviously Command Z. Uh, whenever you know we all make mistakes so whenever you make a mistake you can command Z to undo and if you paint multiple times then you click command Z and you click command Z again it will actually redo so if you want to do multiple times you got to do command option Z on the Mac uh, to undo any changes you did uh, to the image or the painting anyway for number nine I have V V is your selection tool so if you click V on the keyboard as you can see, you can start selecting the image and moving the image around. Uh, so whatever you create on different layers, so this is layer one. If you create a little box here, and let me just fill it with white or black. As you can see, it's on a different layer. If I click V for my selection tool, I can select it and move it around. So make sure you know that one. That's for number nine, V is your move tool. Uh, for the next uh, shortcut, I have M. M is your rectangle selection tool. So as you can see, you can select whatever, make sure the layer is selected. You can select whatever is on that layer, click a V afterwards for your uh, uh, move tool, and then from there you can move anything you want, anything you selected around. Uh, so if I go back to my layer one and I try to move that, as you can see, I move the piece that I selected with my uh, rectangle selection tool. Uh, so M is really useful, make sure you know it. You know, for example, you want to select the whole image, you drag it out or you click command A and it will select the whole thing uh, or you can go to the you know to the box that I created here and do the same thing command A will select everything or you can just select manually using your left click so anyway that was M and that's your rectangle selection so make sure you know that one as well uh, for number seven is the space bar space bar is your uh, moving around canvas tool so if you hold space and left click you can move around your canvas so if you zoom out uh, by do by holding command and uh, scroll wheel up or down you can zoom out and then from there when you up close you can click uh, space left click and you can move around your image pretty much pan around your image really useful really fast you don't have to go to your tools bar to click it you just use your space tool or your space bar and really speed up your process uh, the next one for number six, I have the E, which is uh, erase tool. So on my layer two, if you click E, it will switch you to erase tool, and you can start erasing on that layer, as you can see. And if you hold shift, you can uh, click here, click again, it will erase in a straight line. If you're not confident in your strokes, you know, if you want to erase something in a straight line, hold shift, click one once here. Click again on the other side, it will give you clean erase. And it works the same for the brush tool. And that's what I have for number five. Uh, the shortcut for number uh, five I have is B, and that's your brush tool. So if you click B, it will select your brush, and you can start painting on your layer. Really easy. You can obviously change the color to anything you want, continue painting, and so on. Let me just undo that, Command Z. So for number five is B, and that's your brush tool. Uh, the next one is P, and uh, that's your pen tool. P is really useful. Uh, you know, all the selections, all the crazy selections that you want to do. For example, you want to select the eye. You know, you can use your pen tool. Get in there. Be really accurate. Select whatever you want to select. Just like this. And just finish the selection. Right click, make selection, click OK, and there you go. I just selected that eye. Now I can click V for my move tool, and I can cut it. Let me just go back to my first layer. I can move it around, I can cut it, I can delete it, I can replace it with something else, and so on. So your pen tool is really useful for selections, for making uh, you know, custom shapes, and so on. It can be used for many different things. P is really useful, that's why I have it as a number four for my uh, selection of 10 useful shortcuts. Anyway, moving on, uh, the next one is T. 
uh, text in Photoshop is used a lot, and that's what T is for. Let me just deselect that. So T is your text tool. You click it once, you type anything you want. So you can type in text, and as you can see, it's all done. We can click on our move tool, move the text around, put, put it anywhere we want, and so on. So T is really useful. That's why I have it as number three. You're going to be using text a lot in Photoshop. Same thing for the other shortcuts, but I think pen tool and the text is really useful. So make sure you remember those. Anyway, let me just delete that. The next one is X. X is really useful. It doesn't matter if you're digital painting or you're editing. Uh, so if you select your brush using B shortcut, and then you go in there and start painting on the layer. X will switch colors, uh, whatever you have selected here. So as you can see, I have red and I have black. So if I click X, it will switch to black. I click X again, it will switch to my other color. So you can set up your two colors or whatever colors you want. And you can switch in between those colors, as you can see. So X is really useful. Uh, you can set up your colors, especially for digital painting. Uh, really useful stuff. Make sure you remember that stuff. And if you want to go back to your default black and white for masking you can also do that so you can you know if I create a mask here I can mask it out and then click X to put it back or mask it right in so X is really useful you're going to be using it a lot make sure you remember that and the final uh, shortcut that I want to show you is command I really useful and what it does let me just and your command I is inverting a mask so as you can see, command I will um, put the mask black or, or white. And what is good for if you have two images, you can start masking uh, only the parts you want from the image on top of the other image. So as you can see, I can get in there and start masking uh, using my uh, mask on top of the other layer. And now I can click X and go in between. And then from there, command I as you can see, we'll invert the mask. This is really useful, especially, let me just delete this layer. A good example of this is, for example, you create curves, or let's just do hue saturation, change colors, maybe something like this. Obviously, it's exaggerated. So now you do Command-I, hide everything, and now you click your B and start painting on your, on your mask. And the green only shows up in the areas you want it to show up. And obviously, you can, you know, drop the opacity to 20, start painting, and make her look like she has a green face. Anyway, guys, hopefully these uh, 10 shortcuts helped you. If you want me to cover any of the shortcuts in more detail, you, you know, you can just leave a comment in the video down below. Start using the shortcuts, and we'll speed up your process. These are only 10 shortcuts. Obviously, there's a lot more in Photoshop. But I feel like these, uh, I use it a lot. It doesn't matter what I'm doing, painting or editing images. And there's a bunch of others that you can use. Uh, but with these, it's a really good start, especially if you're starting out you know, using Adobe products. Uh, these shortcuts will um, translate into other programs like Illustrator, uh, you know, Adobe Premiere, and then you have After Effects and so on. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully, you learned something from this video like i said leave it a like subscribe and i will see you in the next video guys have a good day